Hey everybody, Darlington Farm here. I got another fun video for y'all this week. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button down there. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And now, we're going to talk about the Miller 302 diesel uh, that I got off Facebook Marketplace. So I basically bought this machine because it was really cheap. I got it for $3,000. Uh, it didn't really have anything wrong with it. It was having a few issues when I got it. It was just a loose connector. All I had to do was plug the connector back in and it has been flawless since then. Uh, changed the oil, changed the fuel filters, and uh, yeah, it's been running great ever since then. Uh, I put about 50 hours on it this week and let's talk about it here. So after about 50 hours, I've learned a few things. One, it welds just fine. I can't really complain about the way it welds. Didn't do any wire with it this week. All I did was uh, 60 tens, 70 18s, and some art gouging handled everything just fine fuel consumption was about three to four gallons a day depending on what I was doing for a you know nine and a half ten hour day something like that uh, the only thing I can really complain about is if you're art gouging um, I typically run about 250 amps or so and you could kind of feel it didn't have enough horsepower to keep running and you could hear the motor kind of bog down so it seems like it is a little underpowered. I wouldn't want to use it for heavy air arc. I just I was doing some demo to get into a piece of or into a duct, and I had to cut off some uh, insulation supports, and so nothing really crazy. Uh, but you do kind of notice if you turn it all the way up, like it doesn't have quite enough power. But other than that, and the fact that it is really really loud, that is really my only complaint about this machine. Uh, super super loud uh, at idle it's not horrible but when it revs up to full speed it is ear splitting if you are close by and it's not the muffler it is just the motor itself uh, the one good thing about this machine is you can lock it in either idle or low idle or high idle there so if you're welding at say like 110 amps something like that you can just lock it in idle and it will not rev up with fuel consumption like I said three to four gallons for a 10 hour day. It welds just fine. Pretty much I was running either eighth inch 7018s or 332nd 7018s. I'm kind of up building a platform. So basically what I was doing, uh, I was tacking everything together with 6010s and then welding it out with 7018s. I would just leave it set on 6010 and then run about 80 amps. And then I could run eighth inch 60 or eighth inch 6010s to tack with and then I could go back over it and weld with a 332nd 7018 without having to touch the weld. Great. I cannot say anything bad about this other than it was loud and a little underpowered. We're going to go ahead and swap it out here.
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the reason I'm swapping these out is uh, kind of silly. I didn't really want to have to listen to the Trailblazer run all day tomorrow. I got a uh, weld up, a uh, big, probably four or five foot by five foot air duct, and uh, I didn't really want to listen to it run at high idle all day. So, threw the Lincoln in there. And I just wanted you to see, you can absolutely run a wire feeder off of a Lincoln like that without having the CV module works just fine it's a little bit harder to get dialed in if you're using c25 shielding gas it's a little bit more forgiving as far as the range uh, that it'll work uh, i typically just run straight co2 works just fine it just takes a little bit more fine tuning anyway yeah what are your opinions on the trailblazer back there or i'm gonna just go ahead and call it now uh, of my engine drives right back there that is the goat right there that is i'm going to say the greatest of all time uh engine drive that i have the pope pro 400 uh if it's on the truck i do not worry about any jobs that come through the door it runs a spool gun awesome it's got enough auxiliary power to run a dynasty i can have a second guy running off of the auxiliary power on it the thing is phenomenal uh, i do like my lincoln up here but uh as far as money making machines go that pro 400 I don't think you can get any better. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please check back the channel.